Jen and welcome to my studio and today I'm dressed a little different than usual because I just filmed something for a project that I'm doing with a couple of other people and either when this video comes out you'll already know about that project or you'll find out about it soon after I release this video so either way it's a thing and I will link it down below if it is already out by the time you see this video um, I just I, I was wearing all white for the video so that may give you a clue it may not but right now I'm getting kind of like Christmassy yet kind of Oompa Loompa vibes but it's fine um, anyway today we're doing a step tutorial and this step tutorial is one that was highly requested because I have done <laughs> T'Challa I realize you are very excited that I'm gonna be doing this video but it's okay so, <laughs> he's so loud so we have the single time step I've done and the double time step I've done now it's time for the triple time step a lot of you guys have asked for this one so here it is uh, this video does assume that you know the single time step already so if you don't already know the single time step check the step tutorials playlist down below and learn the single time step from the single time step video I think it's just called time step so yes tight yay time steps to tell us like freaking out in the hallway um, so learn the single time step first and then come to this video. I don't care if you don't want to learn the single time step first. <laughs> They're so talkative. Anyway, let's get started. Hello, Bento. <laughs> so again, this video is assuming that you already know the single time step. Doing a single time step, let me review that. You have stomp. time step all you do is insert a shuffle so the shuffle happens between the hop and the step all you do is on your way back throw a little shuffle in there and then you step that's the only difference between a single and a triple which is why this video has to assume that you already know the triple or you already know the single because when you already know the single to learn a triple is just adding one little thing if you're going from scratch this is going to get complicated. So learn the single first, then we've got the triple. So you've got stomp hop, and then shuffle step. And then it continues as usual. Balap, step, stomp, hop, shuffle step, balap, step. All you're doing is throwing a shuffle, because before you were doing stomp, hop, step. Now all you're doing is adding a little shuffle. Easy, and it goes in the same amount of time. Stomp, hop, step. One, two, three. All you're doing is adding the shuffle, which puts a little and a uh in there. One, two, and a three. You're still hitting that step at the same time. Stomp, hop, step. Stomp, hop, shuffle, step. So the shuffle happens up here before the step even happens. So the timing stays the same. Throw a little shuffle in there. So let's try it on the right. Five, six, seven, Eight. Stomp, hop, shuffle, step. All right, let's do that again. Just that part. Five, six, seven, go. Stomp, hop, shuffle, step. Cool. Do it with the left foot. So you're going stomp, hop, shuffle, step. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Stomp, hop, shuffle, step. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then you would just continue the time step as usual. So, let's try a couple. What's the worst that happens? Is this terrible? Well, five minutes ago you didn't know it, so terrible's fine. Terrible's a place to start. Let's do this. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. In case you didn't know me before, I start my time steps on one a lot of the time, which is why we went five, six, seven, eight, one, especially when learning. But yes, I do know that traditionally they start on eight. So we'll work with them on eight in a little bit, 
But for right now, let's keep working on just the step, and it's so much easier to go five, six, seven, eight, start on one. One more time, right, left, right, left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. So it's actually a weight distribution thing where you need to keep your weight in the opposite hip for just a second. Then transfer your weight. So let's try starting on eight this time. Now that we've worked with the step, let's try starting on eight. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. Make sure we got it. Okay? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. And that's the triple time step. This step tutorial is ending up being way shorter than I anticipated, but also way longer because T'Challa decided to steal the entire first section of this step tutorial. But I hope that that helps you guys learn it. Again, you had to have done my video or anyone's video to learn a single time step first before you can approach a triple this way. Because that's the way I teach it in my classes. You learn a single first, then you learn, then technically you learn the triple, then I teach you the double. So today you've learned a triple time step and that is amazing. So make sure if you need more time to practice it, just rewind this video and keep doing it with me and enjoy my silly little Christmas outfit. Why not? Um, again, if that project is out, I will link it below. I'm so excited to share that with you as well as these step tutorials. If you have other steps that you wanna learn, make sure you write that in the comments, please. And because I love making these for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for all of your tap dance needs, especially now that things are going back into a little bit of quarantine or maybe studios are closing for the holidays. Make sure that you, um, that you subscribe to this channel just so that you have an online tap studio at your fingertips anywhere you go. That's what I strive to do for you guys. I love being your online tap teacher, so please become my online tap student and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the thumbs up button if you were so excited or so happy that you learned a triple time step today. That's so cool. So, did you learn a triple time step, Bento? No, you weren't, you weren't here, so you didn't, you gotta watch the video. Okay, bye. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for always being awesome students. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.